Today we're going to show you how to build a document. Documents allow you to create pages containing multiple charts and reports that can be saved in a variety of formats. To create a document from Business User Edition, you can either right-click a folder, point to New, and click Document, or you can click Document from the Quick Links on the home page. Once you've selected a master file to use as a data source, you can begin creating your content. Since documents contain multiple types of content, you add and format each individual component separately. Using the Report or Chart options on the Insert tab will create placeholder content. You can then add fields to the component, reposition the object on the page, and format the content. The ribbon will change depending on the type of content that you select. For example, if you select a chart on the document canvas, you can customize it using options relevant to developing a chart. A report, similarly, will use the ribbon options that appear when creating a report. If you insert an existing report, it will use the formatting used in the original file. It cannot be modified within the document. For this purpose, InfoAssist Plus takes a snapshot of the report as it currently exists. You can also add a text box or an image to the document to add context or style to your document. Images will have to be uploaded to your domain in the Business User Edition before they can be added to a document. You can move or delete the objects in your document at any time. To line them up precisely, you can hold down the Shift key and select two or more components, then right-click an object, point to a line, and select one of the available alignment options. Your document can be converted to a number of output formats, including PDF or PowerPoint, making it easy to distribute your documents. The default format is Active Report. For example, if your output format is Active Report, you can add controls from the Insert tab. These controls can be used to filter content in the document at runtime. You can choose control options, such as a drop-down menu or radio buttons. To link the control to a chart or report and choose the field that populates it, right-click the control and click Properties. Any of the fields in the chart or report can be used to populate the control with available filter values. When the document is run, selecting a value in the control will filter the target chart or report. Documents can be as many pages as you wish. To add a new page, either use the option on the Insert tab or add a new page using the Page menu located in the upper right corner of the screen. The Page Options button in this menu allows you to rename or duplicate a page in your document. If you select a chart or report in the document and drag a field into the Coordinated Field container, new pages will automatically be created for each value in that field. When the document is run, content will be replicated onto each page and filtered for each respective coordinated field value. If the format is set to Active Report, there will be a menu at the top instead of separate pages at runtime. Overall, documents can be a great way to show lots of information together in a single file. You can save your document in a traditional format like a PDF, or you can use the Active Report format to add some interactivity to your document. If you'd like to find out more, check the resources available in our Information Center.